I'm not exactly sure yet, but I might be on the hammer there. It's a quiet signal, it's round. Yep, there we go. Hiya, oh yeah, back out again today. Last time I was out here I had the Equinox I borrowed off somebody. I wanted to do another video with it, but unfortunately the weather had other plans, so... Um, you know, I'm, but I'm back out here today with the Deus, so I'm going to give it a good go. Got about probably four hours. I've had a lot of rain, um, so the ground is soft, but obviously with the rain, the grass has grown. I've got the field behind me that I can go in, it's a little bit shorter, but I know in here, um, the chap who came out with me the very first time, he had two pretty decent hammers out of here. We weren't in here very long either, so I'm hoping, hoping there's something. But I also know that there's also a lot of trash in here. But I'll give it a go. Anyway, let's see what I can find. I'm having to filter my way through a lot of aluminium in this field. Uh, probably had about 10 pieces um, in the last 15 minutes. I've just got this. And... It's not lead. I don't think that's lead. So there's some slight pattern on it, so I don't know whether that was a poor quality coin. There is something, a very faint pattern on there. Uh, how old it is, I don't know. It's always nice to think stuff's really old. I mean, I've got a Roman road probably about 50 yards from me. Uh, oh, see if I can find something a bit more interesting. Looks like they've got a coin in it. Copper coins, pretty worn. A little bit of lettering left on the edge, particularly there. Probably going to be like a George Ave penny or something. And if they can, uh, if they can lose these half pennies, then they can lose some silver as well. Next little find is uh, this. A ring shaped thing. No idea. It's a bit distorted, whatever it was. Quite flat there as well. Flat spot. This gave a bit of a weird signal. Some sort of uh, gear. Put a bit of weight to it. This looks like some kind of weight here. It's very flat on the uh, on one side. In that case, yeah, it goes all the way through. Yeah, it's just some kind of weight. So we've got a bit of silver in there. Get a quick look. It looks like a remains of a silver spoon. Yeah, pretty sure that would have been solid silver. Won't be any hallmarks. There'd probably been hallmarks on the handle or something, but that'll do. It's about the best thing I've found so far today. Been going for about an hour and a half. I mean, this this particular field has got well, it's got stuff in here, but there's also just loads of just loads of rubbish in this one. 
Because mm. you just want to sift through it. Another coin here. I think it's a farthing by the look of it. So I've got a buckle in it. I do. Change fields now, so this one's a little bit shorter grass. That other one's just yeah, it's just difficult. Uh, Give this one a go for a bit. Good old round pound. Had a few bits and pieces. Modern change. I think we've got an older one here. We just a uh, half penny by the look of it. Eighteen seventy eight. Lovely, that'll do. Yeah, I think I've got a button here. Yeah, gilted. Yeah, it's got something written on there. It's another nice little button. A uh, floor in here. Not very old. It beats a bit of that can that I've been digging up. I've got pocketfuls of broken aluminium. Uh, yeah. Makes a change. Right. I'm not exactly sure yet, but I might be on the hammer there. It's a quiet signal. It's round. Yep, there we go. Uh, let's get it in the light. All right, there we go. There's a date on that. 15... 1580. Oh, let's see what the portrait's like. That'll be Lizzie. That's not bad. That ain't bad at all. I'm glad I moved into this field now. Don't really want to go any any further than that. I'm not sure what that is. That's uh, could be a. Could be a three half pence. Nice one. It's got this here. It looks like a uh, some sort of livery button. Hey, uh bird of some description on there gilted I 
empty. Another coin here. Just a penny, I think. So George V. 1926. Hello. This gave a bit of a strange signal. Don't know what it is. Maybe some sort of latch. No. Hands are filthy. Forgot to bring me gloves today. Oh well, they'll wash. And another coin. Half penny. Not too old. The ship on the back there. It's 1941. Still, you know, it's better than digging. Digging the rubbish that I was digging earlier. And for the first two hours in that other field. And I had two coins and it's just, yeah, I should have moved a lot sooner. There's loads of rubbish out there. There's a bit of rubbish in this one, but at least I'm getting because it's shorter. I'm getting the coil close to the ground, um, so you know, I'm finding the smaller targets. I think I got a uh, thimble in here. For once, it's not actually smashed. And another coin. Probably be my last one for the day. Pretty toasted. I think just about. Make out something on there. Cool. Yeah, so George and then the third. So that'd be an earlier, I'd say earlier. Yeah, probably one of the earlier George the thirds. It's pretty much worn out there. All right, let's have a quick rundown of me finds. It's a few uh, buckles and bits, a few buttons. Nice uh, couple of gilted buttons there. This one here's got some sort of bird on it. Yeah, some livery button or some description. Um got a uh got this thimble. Normally they're completely obliterated. Uh, this one for a change was intact. The silver spoon end. Uh, nothing great but yeah, a bit of silver there. Uh, right, and a couple of, well, I'll say a few other coins. Uh, this one was actually George II. Uh, got Britannia on the back there. A bit older than I thought. And obviously, I got this hammered, which is lovely. Now, I thought that was a three half pence at first, but it isn't. It's uh, It is actually a three pence, and it's been clipped right down. I have got the three pence that I found the other week. And sort of put them side by side. So I mean, they you can see how much has actually been clipped off that coin. Uh, but there are some really good Lizzies coming out of that. Well, they would say they were different fields, but you know that permission. Um, yeah, there's some good ones. That's the one I had, and this one again, real good shield on there. The portrait. Yeah. You know, it's pretty good, yeah, it's still pretty good. I've seen a lot worse. Obviously that last one I had was just amazing, but yeah, I love that one. But yeah, uh, different day. Yeah, so this is uh, still good. It's always good to get hammered. And hopefully I'll get back out on that field again soon. Um, don't want the grass to grow too long. It'd be nice when some of these fields get ploughed in there. So I do prefer the ploughed fields. I mean, you know, 
grass is okay, but yeah, each to their own, I suppose. Anyway, I'll see you all again soon.